All right, today's topic, ethanol and fuel. In California, gas stations aren't required to let you know that there's ethanol in their fuel. This gas station does let you know, but basically in California, like 99.99% of gas stations have ethanol in their fuel. Five to 10%, 5% minimum, 10% maximum. 10% max is the most you want in your vehicle if you're not running a flex fuel vehicle. Now, I'm no expert in ethanol, so, you know, feel free to chime in. This is an open discussion. I'd like to hear your thoughts, but eventually the government wants to introduce E15. Now, that's 15% ethanol. Right now, most gas stations that do mix in ethanol, they're running E10. And like I said, that's the most you want in your car. Any more than that, you're going to start damaging the fuel system if you're not running a flex fuel vehicle. The government is trying to tell you that E15 is safe, and the EPA is trying to tell you it's safe. Well, it's damaging fuel systems. There's already E15 in some states, more down south, I believe, and it's damaging cars. And car manufacturers are voiding warranties if you're running E15. E10 is the max you want to run, unless you have a flex fuel vehicle. You've probably seen them before. Lots of Fords and GMs are flex fuel now. And they could run up to E85. <coughs> Gloomy day. Fucking getting sick. Um, yeah, you could run up to E85. That's 85% ethanol and 15% fuel. But like I said, the government wants to introduce E15. And they want to tell you it's safe, but it's damaging cars. So what I'm doing is now that I know there's ethanol in all fuels in California, I'm starting to add in this stuff to make the ethanol safe. So what are your thoughts on ethanol? Let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions. If you think E15 is safe, feel free to chime in. Say E15 won't damage your cars, but according to, you know, AAA, it's damaging cars that aren't flex fuel capable. Alright everyone, kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.